And continuing our live coverage of the war in Ukraine, day 32, let's bring in our guest to discuss General Donald Bulduk and Brigadier General Greg Zanetti. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me this evening. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. Uh, great to have you. Um, uh, first, General Bulldog, I want to start with you. There's been a developing story outside of Chernobyl uh, that we've been hearing. There's a massive fire there. Um, I know you're in New Hampshire where you have a, the Seabrook nuclear plant as well. Uh, is there something that's concerning you, especially when you have this fire at a nuclear reactor uh, where you have people working there and the talk about the um, possibility of this being a huge problem for Europe if it's not put out, if it's not contained? Well, you know, I, I think that uh, in a war zone where there's any nuclear facility, there is cause for very, you know, a lot of concern. So, um, but we have seen that the uh, Ukrainians have stood by and have, you know, handled uh, any situation that's come up in the in the nuclear power plant there. There are some extraordinary fail-safe mechanisms that are part of all nuclear power plants. But this is particularly concerning because one, it's in a war zone, uh, and two, uh, you know, uh, you know, that really complicates the situation. So yes, this should be a concern of ours, but I believe the Ukrainian local, response teams uh, are very competent uh, and most likely have this we, under control. We certainly hope so. Uh, General Zanetti, uh, when we look at uh, Putin and Russia saying their first part of the phase of, is done, is complete, and obviously now everyone's looking going, what, what will they do? Will he take Zelensky's offerings here, maybe do a ceasefire while they can hold more peace talks, or does he escalate into chemical biological weapons? Your take. I would be surprised if he escalated to chemical and biological weapons at this point. He doesn't have to. He's continuing to squeeze down on Zelensky. And what he's seeing out of Biden is, is weakness. And it is remarkable to me to watch how this has played out, not just the pattern of the gaffes, but this leadership by decree that Biden continues to do. He makes pronouncements and specs, in, expects that these will just magically occur without all the planning and coordination that you would expect before you said the words. And so uh, I suspect that Putin will just continue with his plan while we continue with pronouncements. Yes, and I want to get your both reaction. We have about a minute left. I'll give you each 30 seconds here about these gaffes. Um, you're both candidates also for office here. So we know Americans aren't happy with the state of not only the world, but our country as well. 30 seconds to each of you. Um, what do you think we can do to course correct here for so many hardworking Americans? Uh, first to you, General Bulldog. Well, I think we need to immediately uh, reverse our border policies, reverse our energy policies. Uh, we need to do exactly that. I think if we do that, then we are going to go a long way in lowering the infl inflation, gas prices, oil prices, heating, uh, food. And so we have to reverse these policies domestically. Mm -hmm. We have an imbalance in national power uh, and, and national security, and we got to get it straight here at home and abroad. Okay, and General Zanetti, your thoughts on how to get our country to where we were before, not that long ago under President Trump? Well, the general's correct. We must become more independent. And what New Mexico has is what America needs. We have energy, we have lithium, we have uranium, we have copper, we have four of the 17 rare earth elements. These are the kinds of things that New Mexico contribute to what is appearing to be a long-term war effort. And this is why I'm running for governor, is so that we can contribute back to America. General Bulldog and Brigadier General Zanetti, thank you so much for your time tonight. We appreciate it. Right. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you.